Jerry. Yeah, what's up? We, yeah. every episode, we want to bring an awesome, maybe somewhat um, under the radar app piece of software to people that uh, that makes their lives better because that's what tech is for. Yeah, and sure. uh, this time around, you've got something for us, right? A software spotlight? Yeah, I do. Um, so I'm by no means a, a, a professional, but... Um, I do some photography and videography on the side kind of for fun and for, you know, kind of a, as a hobby. If Jason would have been around the probably when you and I met and I was really trying to dive headfirst into like moving my audio workflow over to Linux. Oh, yes. And um, really just trying to think through of like, okay, what workflows do I have for creative uh, work and like mm-hmm. what, what can I transfer over? Um, and, you know, photography, video editing was another one of those. And actually photography, you know, I think probably the audio is, it would be, is there's plenty of fodder there for another segment. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. photog- there's another right. series for that. Yeah. <laughs> a whole other series. But, um, photography is one of those areas where I've always kind of said, like, if photography was like the only thing that I did, <laughs> I could, I could absolutely use Linux a hundred percent full time with, oh, with, with, okay. with the tools, with the tools that they make available. Photography. I felt like there's some, there, I feel like there's some wonderful tools that are, um, free and open source that are that can go a either go toe to toe with um some of the um you know paid applications that you get um so you're talking about adobe right photoshop and Light, I, I lightroom mean, and and more so more more so things along the line yeah like lightroom photoshop i still i, I don't feel like um uh gimp gets necessarily close to photoshop you have to kind of you have to break your you have to break your way of thinking you don't hear people regularly say like, oh, yeah, Linux totally competes with Mac OS right. for video editing right. or for music production. But right. I do hear a lot of people say I, yeah. that the photography tools are top notch. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. OK, yeah. keep going. Keep tools going. like Digicam and um, GIMP and, I mean, even uh, stuff like Krita. Darktable, like of, right? Is dark, it Darktable? Oh, yeah. Darktable yeah. Darktable, yeah. is the one like – what's the uh, – Raw Therapy is another one that's uh, like yeah. um, just so many great tools. So um, – I stumbled upon this tool. It's called uh, Rapid Photo Downloader. Kind of a random name. It's like it didn't like it didn't. <laughs> does it like, does it rapidly download photos? Is that what it does? Or <laughs> right, it pretty much does exactly what it says. Um, <laughs> I have not found a suitable replacement on Mac OS or Windows. Like it's it's hmm. Linux only. It does. It actually does a whole lot of different kind of things rather than uh, than just downloading photos from your media and a few of those things are like um being able to sensibly name files and folders and like create folders on the fly as you're importing in oh, your oh like in a bat in a batch mm-hmm. yeah yeah in a oh, batch. it'll do okay. that which is that's great. nice yeah um th- there's two parts of this the, the the biggest thing that like really just sold me on it is a you can import from multiple devices so multiple SD cards or like an SD card and an iPhone or um, different devices all at once. Like you don't have to like do one and do the other. You can do them huh. all at once. In addition to Tuxedo Computers and our friends in the community, Linux for Everyone is also made possible by Linode. If it runs on Linux, you can run it on Linode. They have multiple distros available, including Ubuntu, CentOS, Alpine, and Arch, by the way. They've got multiple server plans to make any app or service flexible and easily scalable. You can use a Linode server to easily set up a WordPress-powered website, your own personal VPN, a dedicated Jitsi or Minecraft server, and much more that you can get installed with a single click. Linode has 24-7, 365 support available by phone, regardless of your plan size, so you can get help from a real person when you need it. Right now, Linux for Everyone fans who are opening a brand new account can get a $100 60-day credit by going to linode.com slash Linux for Everyone. Linode's been doing cloud computing since 2003, before Amazon even entered the picture. So they're not trying to take over the retail world like other companies. They're just focused on good old-fashioned, Linux-loving cloud computing. Go to linode.com slash Linux for Everyone to get started building your new project. It's where we host all of ours, and we're proud to call them a longtime partner. This is the big thing for me. Like This seems as such a small thing, but it's so huge. Um, you can go in and set default locations for the different file types. So if I want pictures to go oh, to, to do no, this that's brilliant. Program, it's, it, it's fantastic. It's, 
and oh, I want man. videos to go to this folder and it's all automatic. Like, yeah. it's all, it's like I go in and I set those default folders and then I hit a button and it pulls from the four devices that I have connected oh, and man. puts pictures where I want them. It puts videos where I want them. It's fantastic. And then it will also <laughs> copy as it's, as it's moving the, media from your devices you can set up backup locations so if you have a nas or you have a, um, a backup drive connected it'll also copy at the same all at the same time to all of those different locations it's just such it a should be center. called like rapid photo utility belt or yeah, something exactly. <laughs> or rapid um, media rapid media utility uh, belt i don't know um it's it's uh fantastic damon lynch is the the developer and he uh was featured on i make false um at one oh, point. Yeah, um, yeah. Something we year. something we need to talk more about here. Right. Yep. And so um and I actually talked to I talked to him for a little bit. Um I was at the one that kind of uh nominated him to be featured for the week just because oh. I value the oh. tool so much and I cool. would love for like I love for some visibility on it. And I even asked him, I was like, Do you have any plans to um <laughs> make this for Windows or Mac or like to to, to reach a bit of a wider audience maybe or to get like um <clears throat> just for somebody like me who bounces between all three operating systems pretty regularly like yeah that's a tool that's indispensable and it's like i 100 percent miss when i'm not on a linux box okay and so he was just pretty much like no <laughs> no but okay but no, but is but it like, is it open source it is open source, so somebody can. Somebody, I think. Sure. So I, someone I, else I, can I, package I, that up for Mac OS mm-hmm. and Windows if they want to, right? Yeah. I mean, it right. sounds super useful. Even I'm not a but, photographer, but I I work with so much video. Yeah. Like I, I I do a lot of mm-hmm. uh, a lot of shooting on my phone when it comes to you know like when I'm doing right. a solo video or I'm doing product mm-hmm. product or reviews or, and I tend to import a lot of a lot of files that are just called like, I, I don't know vid underscore. <laughs> Whatever, and I would love to batch name those as I yep. import them, right? And yep. sure, what? Sure, I'd also like to back those up, and I'd also like to mm-hmm. have those land in my videos folder, et cetera, et cetera, yep. et cetera. So, yep. I mean, yeah, this sounds super indispensable. This sounds yep. wonderful. It's great. How's Sorry, the How's the UI on it? Um, it's it... actually not. It's not bad. It's. I mean, it's got a little bit of that Windows Seven. <laughs> Windows, um, nothing wrong with Windows 7, folks. No. No, like it, nothing wrong with that UI. Um, it, but it, it, it feels smartly laid out, and it feels very, um, it's intuitive. Um, Damon is a photographer, so he, he pretty much wrote a tool that he wanted to use. So. Shickle, you, you're an amateur photographer. Amateur I mean, is the key word. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that sounds, I don't mean that to sound insulting. I've seen some of your photos, and no, they're fantastic. No, definitely. Um, um, I'm just, is that something that you would use, or do you have, do you have a different set of tools, different workflow that you use for, for your photography? I've got a little bit of a weird thing. It's not a normal thing that I would expect people to set up, but, um, so I have Wi-Fi on my DSLR, mm-hmm. and that automatically dumps to my phone, mm-hmm. which is sync thing backed up to my home machines. <laughs> so wow. all of the raw photos... And the photos I love it. I love gets- how complicated, <laughs> but, but glorious that sounds. It's mostly pictures of my cat, so I don't know, you know... <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.